day 10 of the new world. Anyone who's ever said they had the answer of how to truly prep for the end of civilization didn't have the slightest clue. And it's obvious now. When the virus got out of control, they said the only solution was to die or take the vaccine. When not enough people died, they gave us a choice. Take the vaccine or be subjected to an island not too far off the coast where the quote-unquote insubordinate reside. Last I heard, that place is hell on earth. Some say they're experimenting on the ones who refused it. As for the vaccine, it's about 75% of the population who chose to take it. And out of that 75, almost 50% is now suffering a rare but vile brain condition. But I believe it's a little deeper than that. Before everything went to hell, I was an armed security guard for Lab Tech, one of the leading corporations for prophylactic medicine and research. When the brain infection had an outbreak all over the city, everyone had to head out immediately for safety. I was able to run and grab a special compound from the lab that was believed to be one of the main ingredients for the reversal to the vaccine. But the only problem is, it has to be mixed with a different compound in order to be effective. The compound's so rare, most labs can't get their hands on it. So for now, all I can do is guard this one with my life. One of the infected is outside my door, and I don't know what brought it here. I'm hearing on the radio that they have extremely heightened senses. And of course, if they smell any form of flesh, they'll attack. Yeah. I think it knows I'm in here. Well, whatever you do, keep that compound safe. It's safe. The things I do for that lab. Maybe one day they'll reimburse you for that overtime. Yeah, that'll be the day. What'd you eat today? Can of soup. Oh, that must be so nice. <laughs> I am currently surviving on granola bars, and it sucks. <laughs> well, the power and gas is out over here, so I can't really heat it up. A granola bar sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. Welcome to the new world. Kelly, whatever you do, stay silent, okay? When the power went out, so did all the towers. With no phone or internet, I clicked through the frequencies on my walkie-talkie until I eventually got a response from someone. That's how I met Kelly. For the last week, we've been working on getting me over to where she's hiding. She's with her brother, Johnny. And according to her, they have an idea of where we can get our hands on the other compound needed to complete the cure but it's in the hands of some people that, well, let's say you're gonna need the right amount of guns and manpower to get past those guys. Is your brother with you there? No, he went to go find us some food. 
There's this militia group outside patrolling the area. They're robbing and harassing people. <laughs> Typical shit people do in times like this. Well, I'm starting to think that I need to get to you sooner. The longer I wait, the more of them are gonna show up. Plus some asshole took the gas out of my truck. Don't leave. Let's just wait for Johnny to get back. He may be able to help. Kelly, Kelly, just, just let me think about it, okay? There's no time. I need to head there right now. You sure you want to do that? Kelly, I just killed one of them. Plus, who knows how much longer until the next one finds me. Okay, just be safe. How much battery do you have left? Probably 50%. What about you? Um, a little less than that. Okay, I'm gonna put it down, but I'll keep listening, okay? Probably gonna be there around midnight, so I'll see you later. <laughs>